McDonald's, but always wanted a job that gave her a shot at the middle-class life. She was starting out when she says a friendly fellow trucker tried to assault her in the little bed back behind the wheel. He went and closed the curtain and it started grabbing on me, trying to kiss on me, pull off my clothes. A constant battle of no, no, get off me, no. And I kicked him in his chest and he finally got off me. She says she reported it to the company and they sent her this letter to assure her they had conducted an investigation and taken appropriate action. She tells us she's not sure where that man is now, so when she's alone, she not only locks up her rig, she loops the seat belts through the handles. And here I keep the mace and the razor. I keep a crowbar down here, and also behind my pillows is a hammer. And she's not the only one with weapons. Police grade stun gun. I'm an ex-cop. At a truck stop, I learn all this is an open secret. Most of the women truck drivers, they carry weapons. Do you carry weapons? No. They have weapons in their cars. I don't blame them. You don't? No, you, I mean, I think it's dangerous for both. I mean, trucks get hijacked. And the more we looked into trucker websites, we saw some troubling posts. We reached out to some of the women. He came up behind me. I was pushed into my trailer. Demanding that I do this favor for him or this sexual favor for him. I managed to somehow climb into my truck and call 911. I think a lot of women keep it to themselves because they're ashamed, they're embarrassed. He was like, I've never been with a black girl before. That's what he said. This woman is one of the few who agreed to go on camera. She told us her problem was a trainer who is someone assigned.気象庁によりますと今日も全国的に晴れて強い日差しが照りつけ午前中から気温が上がっています午前11時半までの最高気温は名古屋市で38度3分岐阜県郡上市八幡で37度8分神奈川県海老名市で36度8分などとすでに35